breaking news after deadly elders brutally slaughtered 87 people in benue see what gunmen did in abuja that shocked nigerians do welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to today's news but you can as well subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also you can like this news by clicking on the like button and also the bell for more updates. Now to the news details. Please listen carefully. Iziaka Dogara, a livestock merchant, and Fatima, his 14 year old daughter, were shot and killed by gunmen. They were kidnapped when their home in Shitsumu, Gwangwalada Area Council. Federal Capital Territory was attacked. A source said that about 15 armed men broke into the neighborhood late on Saturday nights and proceeded to the cattle dealer's home. He said they quickly kidnapped him together with his daughter Fatima, who was around 14 years old. Afterwards, they were slain. He said that another individual was shot in the abdomen. When neighbors tried to step in and was taken to the University of Abuja Teaching Hospital, Samuel Otom, the governor of Benue State, has urged President Major General Mohamed Buhari, retired, to take action beyond expressing sympathy by directing security services to find those responsible for the murders in the states. This comes after 87 people in the states were slain in several incidents over the course of 48 hours. The attackers of the assaults, according to Otom, are known and need to be apprehended. In response to the murder, of 36 internally displaced people who were seeking sanctuary at LGEA Primary School, Mban, in New West Council Ward, in the state's Guma local government area. The governor delivered the statement. The assaults happened only 48 hours after suspected headsmen slaughtered no less than 46 people in an attack on Umo Gidi Entepa in the Adoko region of the Otupo local government area. Three persons were slain in an assault on the Ibobi Almond in Akpa last Monday by some suspected elders. The next day, three individuals were slain in an assault in the hamlet of Umo Gidin. According to reports, suspected elders broke into LGEA Primary School in Umban at about 9 p.m. on Friday and terrorized the locals, including pregnant ladies who had been uprooted from their homes in their respective towns earlier that day. Speaking via the council security officer, Christopher Waku, the local government chairman, Mike Abba, said, there is a primary school in Umba village where some people who regularly abandon their homes due to headsmen attacks dwell, and the headsmen come and assaulted them Friday night. The dead were 34 and the wounded were 40. But I just got a report saying two of the injured had passed away. Ten bodies were found on the highway, while 24 bodies were found in the classroom. In confirming the assaults, Katrin Anene, the police public relations officer, also said that 28 bodies had been found and are stored in the hospital mortuary and the Umbam assault has been verified, she added. Within 48 hours, 
Eight men are slaughtered, eight or seven people in Benue estates. A whole eight or seven in a state whereby the governor has called on President Mamadou Barry not to only show sympathy but actually ask, ask, pardon, actually make sure that security personnel are brought into the states because these attacks has been happening frequently now it's seven people it happened in Benue and also in Abuja there was gunmen killing this was after the others slaughtered 87 people in Benue they had to go and revenge in Abuja killing people at least 15 odd men broke into the neighborhood this was this happened on Saturday night the insecurity in Nigeria is becoming so alarming whereby every state, Benue, the North, are facing bandits, Boko Harams, Fulani Etsmen. And yet, the, the, the federal government is not actually taking military officers, personnel, to those states to curb this insecurity. Now, it is seven people has been slaughtered in Benue states, while some are still in the hospital who are injured. We have come to the end of the news. What's your view? Kindly share your comments in the comment section. Thank you.